morning and welcome to this our sixth Sunday of Easter short talk. I hope you are all safe and well. Please do keep in touch with us and let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Will you have a look at this big heavy box? I kind of need it out the way for my service this morning. Aaron, can you come give me a hand please? Just shift the box. Come on, put your back into it. I'll put it back out. <laughs> Very good. You seem to be struggling there. Do you think you need a bit of help? Maybe. Okay. Let's see if Andy will come and give us a hand. Andy, can you come and add your muscles to the task? Try and move this box out of the way for me, please. Excellent. Great job. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Now, on his own, Aaron didn't stand a chance of doing what I'd asked him to do. That box was really heavy, I kind of set him up. <laughs> he needed help and his dad was more than willing to give it. Now you and I aren't asked by God to move heavy boxes, but we are asked to keep his commandments. The problem is that although we try really hard, really hard to love God and to love other people all the time, in our own strength, this is impossible. We can try really hard to do everything that Jesus asks us to do, obey his word, but in our own strength, it's impossible, as impossible as one person trying to move that box on their own. The good news is that Jesus knows it's impossible for us to do all that he asks of us and obey his commandments in our own strength. So he's promised to give us some help, a helper to be with us. Now listen to this verse from John chapter 14. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever. Now this helper is the Holy Spirit, and he's given to us when we first turn to Jesus to follow him. The wonderful thing about the Holy Spirit is that he lives in us, so he's always with us, ready to give us the help that we need. So next time you're struggling with something that Jesus wants you to do, just whisper this little prayer, Holy Spirit, please help me. And you will find that he does. Now let us pray. I've chosen to do the Lord's Prayer this week. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 